So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this wonderful Barbican Centre here in York, the home of the Betway UK Championships. And there's the birthday boy, Ronnie O'Sullivan, having a bit of a laugh with Mark Williams as he came out into the arena as world champion to Delilah. What a good opening pot from Jack Lazowski. Stephen. You've seen a bit of Jack Lazowski, wonderful talent. Big stage for him today. Yeah, without a doubt, there's no bigger stage than playing Ronnie Sullivan, the biggest name in snooker. But what a talent this man is. Six. He's been around a long time, yet to just starting to sort of realize his talent into the top 16. Seven. Looks pretty safe to be in the Masters in January, which will be an incredible occasion for him as well. But as I said before, getting the better of the man in the other chair. For a lot of these players, it can be the moment that can change their career, change their belief. Yeah, absolutely. Give them that confidence to go on and compete 12. with the best on the biggest stage. Thirteen. He's got all the shots, Jack Lazowski. Strikes the ball just beautifully. And as I said when we were talking to Steve, he needs to take advantage of these chances to put pressure 20. on Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's the only chance you've got of beating him, really, as if you 21. score heavily with the chances you're given. Very, very similar. If you look at both players' bridge hands and the way they queue up, it's almost identical. Jack Lazowski and Ronnie Sullivan. Yeah, I'd never noticed that before. 28. we we'll get a, a little look at it as we go on this match. Not the best angle in this red. He may have just had a quick look at the pink, but... 29. Wanted a bit more of an angle on the pink there. Now... Big shot. If he takes the black on, we going into the pack. But he's got to commit to this type of shot. It's missable. You're playing it with a lot of top spin, but you have to commit to it. Gets a good connection. Pots the black. Could open some reds here. Well, that's a count himself. Very unlucky there. Thirty-six. It's the only problem going into the pack from a high black. Touching both balls. The cue ball's never going to generate the pace. As if you're going to the pack directly. Yeah. And there's every chance when the pack are quite close together, that's what can happen. It sticks on the red. So now he's made a, got a little 36 point lead. He's got to keep it tight. Thank you. Couldn't do much with it, but he's left this red on. It's about the right center and Kowalski 36. up into the top right hand pocket as well. But there's a bit of danger in taking this red on because of the proximity of the red to the top corner pocket, the one green pocket as we look. So that's why maybe Ronnie is maybe refusing this red. Remains to be seen. He's back looking at it again. Normally when you see Ronnie wipe his cue with his hands, it means he's taking a pot on. He's getting him psyched up, himself psyched up to play it. And he's not having second thoughts. There you see the little rub of the cue, getting himself ready. Oh. Wow. What the pot. Great shot. Just a bit unlucky, he's actually come a bit straight on this black. I would love to have had an angle just to get close to the reds on the left hand side of the table into the right middle. Skewed that very nicely indeed. 
Eight. Always had that red near the green pocket in reserve. Got to make sure you accelerate through the cube all these shots. If you decel, you miss them thin, especially playing bottom left hand side. Oh. Yes. Sullivan. Didn't expect Eight. him to miss it thick. Has he left it? It doesn't look like it. But lots of left hand side in the cue ball here. And that, as soon as you play with bottom and left, it pushes the cue ball over to the right. That's why he's missed this thin. Thick, I should say. There is a red that does pot into this bottom right hand corner pocket. We're trying to leave the cue ball very close to where he is now. Yeah, that's it. It's in. Good pot. What? He's always trying to leave the cue ball up into an area where he'd be trying to cover that red. That's close to the top right hand corner pocket, but he's nicely on the blue. That was a good clean pot. Now a chance to get this first frame on the board. Six. That's his target. Or his opponent will need a snooker. Seven. At the moment, Stephen, first impressions. Jack Lazowski looks very relaxed. He looks very composed, very focused. Fourteen. Fifteen. It was always so important, wasn't it, for Jack Lazowski to get off to a good start. Just to give himself that bit of belief and ease the pressure, because it is a big pressure 20. coming out to play Ronnie O'Sullivan and, of course, the defending champion in such a big stage. And he's 21. coping with it admirably so far. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. So this pink to leave Ronnie Sullivan, Nina Snooker, and he'd love to clear the table, Jack Lazowski. <laughs> Keep the momentum going, going into the second frame. <coughs> you don't want to, even though the frame's won, you don't want to play any careless shots, because that can seep into 35. the next frame. So keep that concentration at 100%. Thank you. The same, even though the frame's won. 36. Pink, stun off two cushions. For one. The two reds near the pink spot to the left corner. Beautiful. Well, he certainly got the pace of the table, hasn't he? That was a lovely positional 42. shot. Oh, well, the red didn't go in, but he won't be worried about that. Ronnie's just having a quick look at the scores. Can you move your camera so we can see? Okay. He's 49. Frame yeah, frame. Right. Ronnie Check says yourself. enough, so that's the fourth frame. Jack Dazowski is off the mark. He takes the opener frame against the defending champion and leads by one frame to nil.